hello friends good evening to all i i hope you are well and fine doing your best uh, i think you performed very well in this aw exams in the paper 2 as well as your paper 1 uh, but the person who had not did well don't worry this is the not only the one exam uh, so that your entire career may be lost here only no so you have get you will chance the number of opportunities like this uh, with this, uh, I special thanks to the Sandeep Reddy, Venkat, Reganti and Vikram Bandi uh, for upgrading my knowledge and they, I did some uh, little mistakes uh, while presenting my videos and they have given some clarification and degraded my knowledge. Thank you. Uh, so now I came with the video that are challenging questions and some of the queries in this uh, TSPS keys presented. So let us discuss one by one. The first one is your the 23 question number the deflection at center simply supported beam by uh, carrying uh, uniformly distributed load. The same question is asked in the previous years of the civil exams. Uh, same question asked here. The major difference between your small w here, I think this is small w and small l. Okay, here the capital W is the total load that W is equal to small W into L that is the weight per unit length. So here the TSP is given is the thought but I am assuming the answer is 1 because here the type capital W is your total load that will uh, equation the 5W L cube by 384 into EI this is the answer. So here the small W is given that is uh, always here mentioned that total uh, load it's not total load this is the only weight per unit length so that is the w is equal to w into l so we will get the answer correct answer this one okay otherwise you can add the expertise of in the strength of material by any faculty okay i'm assuming the one answer is correct but so me you may have write the challenge of the uh, tsps key and i'm requesting you that if you have anyone knows this uh, solution please go uh, send to the whatsapp so the correct answer is safe uh, any massive structure in the our saline water condition every we will design and the safe structure so if any you don't uh, know the solution always we make the uh, answer safe so depend most of the structure should be safe so correct answer is the and here also have some query regarding the 33 uh, 32 question that is the d so different between uh, our challenging question i am assuming that key is given by the tsp is that four but i am assuming the uh, d option is should be four so that momentum distribution in methods all anti clock movement all should be in the uh, negative so but tsp is given the answer is four so once crash check this okay and next one is your 55th question that is the water uh, in the aquifer regarding the water in the aquifer so let us see the elimination process from these aquifers so we can uh, easily to eliminate okay so now first one is the perched water table in a localized semi confined aquifer so the virtual water table is related to the which confined aquifer whether that is confined semi confined or unconfined so here the virtual water table is always confined uh, related to your unconfined aquifer okay so this is the uh, answer the virtual water related to the unconfined so here is given by semi confined so d is the not the answer so now we can eliminate the process a and d that is the 3 and 4 and remaining is the a and b and b and c so now here tsp is given that is the 3 means a and d so this is the wrong answer so and another question is that see the piezometric uh, head is less than the priatic head so this also be wrong so always the piezometric head is more than the priatic head so here it's even the in the piezometric head in semi confined aquifer or any unconfined aquifer that is the uh, the piezometric head is always more than the priatic head so the ratio between this head depends on your hydraulic conductivity so this is the question they simply draw uh, copied from this okay so that the piezometric head is less than but not this is the more than so now let us once more confirm the piezometric head is always more so here it is given the piezometric head is less so now this is also be wrong answer so remaining let us see the a 
the water table under the atmospheric pressure in unconfined aquifer yeah exactly see here the water table or water in the unconfined aquifer is equal to your atmospheric pressure or that is equal to your normal pressure so a is the correct answer and one more thing b is the the periodic level so the term periodic level we will use in the confined semi confined and unconfined aquifer so see here the unconfined aquifer we will use the periodic level that is a water table level and since in confined aquifer we will use the piezometric level and in semi confined aquifer so here the that is called water taps in the semi confined aquifer refer to the piezometric level the level of the water rise okay the level if it draw the confined aquifer or semi confined aquifer so the water will rise in the aquifer and some another aquifer is there okay the water level also rise something and you draw this level of the water through some contour lines so this is called your level of the water that simply called your piezometric level so this type of water level will always indicate in the both uh, confined semi confined and your uh, unconfined aquifer also so now the key is the only a and b so the answer is one so the tsp is given is the answer three so you made challenge with this reference and next one is your 61 question so as, as i told you this is in a video the data which is given by incorrect by the tsps the data is given by the tsps that is 50 uh, 4525.73 meter cube of the wheat crop required that is not that is only 45.25 meter cube of water required so that the correct answer is 42 but answer is given by the tsp is correct this two so insufficient data so we cannot solve with this data so we can challenge okay and second thing here uh, also if you all the add the some values you can get the net depth of water that is 7.55 uh, centimeter and you can suppose only this answer is there so remaining there is no options so you can also do the this and assume this answer but if you need to calculate the gross irrigation okay gross irrigation for this you need to assume the application efficiency that is 75 or 85 that a 70 to 85 uh, percentage but if you assume only 70 percent will get the 10.78 so for that here the tsps data that we call that gross irrigation we need to uh, have the application efficiency or field irrigation efficiency that is not given so you also challenge this question you may get the uh, marks and second 77th answer so here the proper if you see uh, this is a question if you see the answer clearly uh, they mentioned the uh, drip irrigation so drip irrigation so that is the william hagen equation used to calculate the friction losses but if we have not mentioned the drip irrigation so in this condition the answer will fourth also becomes so the tsps question is really difficult or deepest this question we can say uh, they mentioned the drip irrigation so the answer is two okay if the correct answer is two and so here the mismatching this concept mismatching the uh 81 question we can see the same question or same question available in the page number of your 53 in the tsp uh, itp irrigation theory practice so if you see here the long path emitter the long path emitter is the example for your microtube okay long path emitters are example for your microtube or example for the long path emitters are spiral long path emitters the pressure compensating are uh, and smooth long path emitter head loss is the uh, remain the laminar so that is the example simply the long path emitter example is microtubes so, but here the see if you observe the key or this question pattern b long path emitter there is no uh, microtube is given so that is given by the d here c okay and same thing the long path emitter uh, answer is the microtube okay here so in the you can find this in the page number 658 of the itp uh, and second thing next one is your micro tubes so always if you eliminate this one next one is your option is the button emitters so button emitter may be your online emitter see the here the point sources will come the button emitters the online drippers and their assembly that is your button emitters or we call the button drippers or we can see the same matching the button emitters the correct answer for this matching is the inline emission device we can say that this button emitters are have the inline 
emitters. So maybe they taken this uh, matching from these sources, but due to the confusion or due to some any other reason, they mismatched the relation. So so the, for that, the option is not given. So this is the incorrect matching. You may challenge this question. You'll get the answer. Okay. And remaining is two correct. That is the grommet. Uh, we can connect the submain to lateral and solenoid wall is the automatic. So the correct answer is the the two four two and four two and four. This one are two and four. So the one and three are both are the answers. But ESP is given uh, this long path emitter. They assuming that inline emitters and For that given key here, see page number you can find the chapter uh, 13 of uh, question number 53. Okay, the only way the online emitters are long path emitters mentioned in this figure only that is the 15 13.25 uh, that is the long path emitters here. The long path emitters employed in long capillary sciatic tube in the figure number 13.25 in the entire chapter. I have not find anywhere that long path emitters are inline emitters. So here only the mention. So this is the maybe inappropriate. So the correct answer we can like this. This correct matching. So you can challenge. So maybe you have the chances to get the marks. Next one is your 98th question. The arrangement of the watershed management. So what are the order of the watershed management? That is the reconnaissance, protection, restoration, and improvement. So correct answer. Is TSP given by the two, but this is not the appropriate uh, order. So this is the appropriate order. So as per this A, C, B, D is there, but this option is not mentioned in the key. Uh, so you can also challenge. So I collected this material from the ICR e courses. And next one, this is the multiple options set there in the several different test books. I have referred to the Arsures, Vivian Murthy, and uh, Hydro uh, Ganeshan Das, and also other online references and IIT faculty lectures uh, that we know uh, shared with me this so the correct answer is the this one also and this one also so here they mentioned only the option two and another option also be correct another option also that is a three uh, three times of sum of the wall vertical forces by three H's so here it may be also be three Okay, as mentioned in the YouTube. So now you can also challenge this question because, but standard reference key from this author, the correct answer is that sum of the length of horizontal plus three times of sum of vertical by three into H. So this is the correct answer. So the standard reference books I mentioned, or oh, so this is the correct answer. This is the standard key. Okay, uh, please go through these ones and next one here this is the major problem is that here the head wall extension the i want to challenge the question head wall extension the head wall extension also perform or function the assisting the creating stable fill okay that is the and also prevent the pipe under the structure so here the tsp is given the correct answer is the a the end seal is given by the three that is the to prevent the protection from your uh, stream bread next one is your b toy wall is your four that is what prevent the piping under the structure okay so that is the toy wall toy wall here see same thing mentioned the prevent the piping under your structure this is the answer given but same function may also do by your head wall extension that is a point second that will also help to prevent the piping under the structure okay and pipe cradle Okay, so this will helps to your to that is your uh, to prevent the uneven settlement at the earth structure. So now the remaining always you will help to see now remaining option is the one that is uplift the pressure. So that is the resisting the see reduce the uplift to pressure. So see this also be answer and second point also be the answer. So you also get the chances to uh, challenge this question. Okay, uh, because the multiple 
functions means the head wall we can do the multiple operations or multiple functions so here this is a little bit ambiguity the answer is the correct the answer of this if you go deeper and deeper of this function each and individual the answer is given by the tsp is correct but i want to challenge that head wall also do the functions of the toy wall if it is mentioned the toy wall may mention the prevent the undetermining the operon so then only no need to challenge the question but it is given toy wall and head wall the both functions of these toy wall head wall given the same so you may challenge this question okay thank you uh, so uh, most of the friends asked me to sir we can uh, create the group uh, for discussion or for uh, upcoming uh, uh, communication so please join through whatsapp group uh, so this is a link i provided you okay thank you